how did you go from writing about sex toys to actually like making content where, how did that transition come about? Well, on my blog, I had a lot of horny readers who uh, were interested in, you know, my sex life that I was sharing. So there's kind of some overlap in between, I would say, like the porn buyer community and also the types of people who were reading my blog. I also had like a lot of sex worker friends who would share my articles too. So it's kind of like in the same adjacent community um, with the sex bloggers and the sex workers. And yeah, I just had a couple of... um, like readers who emailed me and were like, Hey, I'd be interested in paying you for like a couple pieces of content here and there. So I started doing that a little bit. And uh, eventually I was like traveling um, in my early twenties and I needed some money. And I was, I was talking with, um, I was like in LA actually. And I was talking with some sex bloggers who also had a Patreon at the time when Patreon allowed porn. And they were like, you should do this. Like, this is like, it's ridiculous that you're not like adding this kind of like ability to make money um, into your like business plan. And um, I was like, okay, well this, like I need money right now. So this is probably like a good idea. <laughs> and then I just started my a Patreon that was kind of like um, linked to like my blog persona. And I uh, started there. <laughs> Eventually though, I um, kind of was like, oh, wait a second. Um, sites like many vids and like, um like other types of like where you could sell your content to like people who were there to buy it those types of sites I was like okay maybe I should kind of move over there eventually because it's like a bigger market and actually start marketing myself as someone who does this rather than just kind of like a adjacent aside to my blogging and um yeah I saw that and I was like okay well let's perhaps pivot do a little pivot because I was just kind of exhausted and burnt out from writing and sharing and um yeah I pivoted (laughs) how was it to come out like from behind just the words you know on the page to like a real person who was like showing herself to the world oh it was a little terrifying I think of the first like couple times that I was sharing that type of content I'd already like on my blog had already posted like sexy pictures and stuff before, but I think making someone specifically for one person felt very vulnerable when you're first like getting into that. And I think everybody's like first foray into like online sex work. You're like, Oh, like there's like a person I don't actually know at the other side of this, who's receiving this very like intimate piece of myself and like, what could they do with that content? What are their intentions behind it? Whether it just to be jerk off to it in the best case scenario, which for some people that might even be something they're uncomfortable with, or like perhaps use it for nefarious purposes of blackmailing or uploading to like other sites and sharing it. And yeah, it's just like, obviously, yeah, all the possibilities run through your mind when you're doing something like that. Um, Mm -hmm. But I just did it anyway. (laughs) (laughs) Were you, so were you worried about like, did, did your family or friends not know what you were doing? Were you worried about that coming out and affecting you in a negative way? And actually, no, not in that scenario. Like my parents kind of knew that I was doing like blogging and um, I explained to them kind of as I was doing it um, that that was the case. But in terms of switching over, I didn't really like, I didn't say anything to them, but I also wasn't really hiding it when I was moving into like the more porn space. Um, like if I was nominated for like an award or something like that, or like if I was in an article or something, I would still like share it on my personal Facebook where my, which my family like has access to. It was kind of one of those things where I was like, like, you know, they'll like, if they find out, they find out, but it's not something I directly was ready to like engage with, with them. Mm -hmm. Um, so just, I have a complicated relationship with my parents. It's like a little bit distant. Um, and we're in like, we're in a good place now, but it's still like distant in a way that's comfortable for me and um, sharing something like that wasn't like the biggest worry of mine. And it just, cause it wasn't a big priority. Right. Um, right. And then with my friends though, like they, they all knew what I was doing and um, like everybody in my personal life, like, like everybody knows, and, like I go by Gwen now, like very like publicly around my city and um, which is very freeing just because I don't have to ever really worry about someone trying to like, you know, blackmail me now, but at the time when I was transitioning to it, it was still a little bit of like a, oh, okay, this like could just perhaps backfire, especially because you're like, 
oh, the internet is so vast and big and scary sometimes, but um, yeah, I think it all worked out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and also too, you know, we hear all these, these stories about like revenge porn and you know, it's one of those things that you can't take back. Like what's on the internet is there forever. Right. Yeah. So it needs to be a decision that you are like a hundred percent committed to. 